Let's continue our conversation about flathead performance products that are basically just snake oil. And for this one, I'm going to ask that you like and comment because this one's important and people need to know about it because today's product is actually still on the market today. And this particular product spans more than just flatheads because a lot of guys in the classic car industry buy them and then regret it. So how many of you have been in the market for a new two barrel carburetor? Like me, you're either not happy with the one that you have and have no interest in rebuilding it, you just want something new that you can bolt on and drive. So you jump on the computer and you're looking around because you want to find the best deal. Now I think that most of you are pretty aware that buying something like a two barrel carburetor from somewhere like Wish.com or Alibaba is generally a bad idea. So I'm kind of considering that one low hanging fruit. But a lot of people find one of these. Now this two barrel carburetor looks very familiar. It looks like a Strongberg 97, but it actually isn't. This is the very well known and over advertised 9 Super 7 from Speedway Motors. Now this donkey turd of a carburetor was actually released in the late 2000s. I was working at a hot rod shop in Old Town Orange, California, and when this got released, we had nothing but problems with them. We actually reported most of these problems to Speedway. For every five we sold within a month or two, we got on an average about three back. Now one of the largest problems that we actually had with this carburetor was this aluminum base. The base was very well known for creating a great deal of condensation that would pour onto the engine and look like an eyesore. It actually happened three different times that the base froze enough that it actually stuck the throttle open. So if that didn't kill your support for these carburetors, then the fact that they generally only lasted a few months before needing a rebuild was pretty much the last nail in the coffin for me. I often post threads in our Facebook group asking people to tell me what products they love and what products they absolutely despise. Since 2014, the 9 Super 7 has almost always rated number one on the worst products currently available for flathead enthusiasts. Yes, these carburetors are cheaper than the original Strongberg 97s. These being around $349 versus the Strongberg's $495. But when factoring in the longevity and performance of the two carburetors, it's almost a no-brainer that the Strongberg 97 or rebuilding an old set of carburetors is a better choice. So don't waste your money. 